What's up everyone? Welcome to another new video on my channel. Okay, today's video is going to be slightly special. I won't be doing any tech videos or any lifestyle video, but I'll be doing a closure to 2020. So I'll be talking about things which is impactful, at least in my opinion. So sit tight. Let's get started. To be frank, it will not be possible for me to go through all the events that happened in the year 2020. The list is simply too long. But let me just mention a few which is at least impactful to me. If we go back to the year 2019, an event that crossed over to the year 2020, how can we forget the devastating fire that affected the whole of Australia? An estimated of 46 million acres of land were burned to the ground. Many people lost their life, and a lot, and even more of them lost their home. At the end of March, an estimated of 3 billion animals and creatures were lost to the bushfire. And a huge percentage of them are creatures or animals that is coming to an extinction. Devastating is an understatement. Seriously, it is something that I don't think Australians will be able to forget for the rest of their life. Honestly speaking, it is a known fact that every second now, babies are born. And at the same time, life are lost. In the year 2020, we have seen sudden death of celebrities worldwide, which is very impactful and affected a lot of people. Kobe Bryant, helicopter accident, Chadwick Boseman, colon cancer, Alien Huang, sudden death. Why I find these three celebrities' death very impactful, or at least to me, because I'm about the same age as them. It kind of reflect how fragile life is. You know, we can never know what's going to happen next. So try to live life to the fullest, cherish the people around you, and always look forward into the future, not back at the past. Because regret is something that we don't want to have. Speaking of celebrity death, in October, we lost our last guitar hero, Eddie Van Halen. I grew up listening to classic rock song. So Van Halen is one of the band which I love. I love listening to their song. And October, we lost him to mouth cancer. How can we forget his tapping techniques in the song Eruption? Too bad I cannot play any of his song in my video because I'm going to get copyright. So sorry guys. Yeah, You just have to look through YouTube for the videos. You're not going to regret. You'll be wow every single time you look at him doing his tapping on his guitar. In the same year, we lost our first 007, Sean Connery, who died in his sleep. So pretty sure he's charming the good people in heavens right now. And in entertainment, 15 years of Supernatural that came to an end quite recently. I cannot believe that I've watched 15 years of Supernatural. Pretty sure that I'm not the only one that feel this way. It's a bit strange not being able to catch Supernatural on TV. And if you guys watched the second last episode, pretty sure that Sam's tears is real. I think the emotion is real. So I guess we just have to, to find an alternative or something else to Supernatural, but pretty sure they won't be able to replace Supernatural. I think by now, you guys might be thinking, did I forgot something? No, I did not. I'm just simply leaving it to the last, COVID-19. The freaking virus that is affecting every single one of us. Even Antarctica cannot be spared. An estimated of about 1.7 million lives were lost. And many countries are facing second, third, or even fourth wave. There are lockdowns after lockdowns, quarantines, and hospital getting overloaded with patients. Even though the RNA vaccine is out, to what extent can it save us? We do not know. We can only hope that in the year 2021, things will get better. Or at least find some way to suppress this freaking virus. And let's not forget other natural disasters that happened around the world. The bushfire that happened in California too. Earthquakes all around the world. Typhoon. Flood, tons of them, life were lost. 
houses were destroyed. I think this year we may have seen more natural disaster than previous year. So it is a year which is, I think most people want to forget. Okay, enough of all those bad and negative events. Right now, I just want to forget them, but unfortunately, I don't think I can. How about those good events that happened in year 2020? Pretty sure there's tons of them. But again, let me just mention a few. In spite of those natural disaster and the stupid COVID-19 virus, we have seen compassionate from our fellow human being. Example, the bush fire in Australia. We have seen international community donated millions and millions of dollars to aid the people in Australia. So that is compassionate. That is a good thing because there is still hope in humanity. I'm an Asian first of all. I'm from Singapore. So when I see international community recognizing an Asian firm, that is something that's worth jumping for joy. Parasite from South Korea. They won major awards in the Academy Awards. Best Pictures, Best Director, Best Screenplay. Fantastic, isn't it? How about a funny incident that happened in the year 2020? A lot of people hate the rain, especially if you love outdoor, you love outdoor sports, or you simply just enjoy outdoor, walk among natures, or any other things. But if I, if I tell you that it rained chocolate, would you believe that? I'm not kidding, it did happen. It happened in Switzerland. It was due to a faulty ventilator. So when I saw that news the other time, I was like, um, I simply could not believe that it happened until I read, I went through the internet and looked through the various international sources of news. It did happen. Now I wish that besides chocolate, it rains, wine, I don't know, rain, juice, or if you like Coke or Pepsi, how about raining Pepsi and Coke? That would be funny, isn't it? 2020 is finally coming to an end. First order of business, out you go. And let's embrace 2021. Let's hope that 2021 will be a better year for you and me for every single one of us worldwide. And Happy New Year to everyone. Stay safe and stay positive. I will see you guys next year. Goodbye.